And if you are frustrated by door-to-door -door salespeople, you are certainly not alone. But our Jenny Rundovich found out those neighborhood signs aren't enough to keep them out. There's something else you need to be doing. Jenny? Yeah, John, police are telling us that that no soliciting sign actually has to be right on your house, right near your front door to force those salesmen to go away. For a lot of homeowners... One guy came back twice and then wouldn't leave and keeps talking to my wife through the door. A knock at the door from a stranger trying to sell something is an unwelcome experience. I just don't like anybody coming to the front door I don't know. And um, I don't think any of my neighbors do either. Which is why so many Johnson County neighborhoods have these at the entrance to the subdivision. We have up in front, we have the no soliciting signs. But police say those signs can no longer legally stop solicitors from knocking on your door. Court cases indicated that individuals need to have those no soliciting signs on their homes. That the sign out at the front of the addition is not enough anymore. That the individual homes also have to have a no soliciting sign in order for us to enforce that. Like Terry's on his front door, which clearly states, no solicitors. So if someone peddling pest control, lawn care, or home security stops by and disregards the sign on his house, Terry can call the cops. The salesman will face a fine. So well, that's why I got the, uh, the additional sign. Solicitors have to have a permit from the city or county. Police say if you don't have a sign and they do come to your house, ask for the permit first to make sure they're legit. They also say never ignore that knock at your door. It could be a bad guy looking for an easy break-in. Even if you don't want to open your door, please acknowledge who's on the other side of the door that you are at home. And if you don't want to knock at all, put that sign right on your house. I think about a bunch of them, put them in everyone's mailbox so we can all have them here. And the city of Greenwood recently adopted the same rule in town. In fact, they will actually mail homeowners no soliciting signs if they want to put it on their home. That'll be in the next couple of months. And get this, the fine in Greenwood now, if salesmen come to your door, even though you have that sign, $2,500 even for the first violation. It's not just here on the south side, by the way. Fisher's police will actually give homeowners no soliciting signs that are included with a neighborhood crime watch sign. John? Yeah. Plenty of people probably will want those. Thank you. Jenny Runner is reporting tonight.